What's up everyone, welcome to the Durbin Compound. In today's video, we're gonna do a little project in the shop. Uh, I'm gonna take you guys down there, show you what I'm doing, and uh, maybe we'll have some fun. Just a short little video to keep you guys updated on the stuff going around here at the Durbin Compound. Stay tuned. All right, so I wanted to show you guys, I just cut some new holes in this bracket here on the floor. Um, I use this uh, D-ring on the floor of the shop so that I can put a uh, cable through it and I can uh, you know, pull the car in from the front and have a cable through my snatch block and I can pull a car in uh, and that's not under its own power. So I'm gonna show you guys, I just drilled some holes in this. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I drilled it on the drill press. All right guys, if you're new to the channel, you might have not seen my Camelback drill press. So one of the things that I love to do is run old iron like this. This old machinery just gives me the fizz. Uh, old belt driven stuff. I'd really like to get a hit or miss engine to run a big shop belt and then have a couple different belt machines driven at once all by the same belt. Um, but this was a <clears throat> or this is a WF and J Barnes a design. It was patented in 1895. It's a 15 inch Camelback drill press. Um, that means that uh, you have a, the stroke of 15 inches on the quill. Um, now this was originally a belt driven machine and later it was uh, retrofitted with the electric motor in 1914. So um, as far as that retrofit, I'm going off the stamp on the motor. Um, it is an original electric motor from 1914. So uh, this machine runs on Babbitt bearings. If you're not sure what a Babbitt bearing is, it's basically a bearing that's made out of solder. Um, so you have these <clears throat> these big cast um, joints in the actual drill press and it has a fill hole at the top and you literally put in a uh, casting plug on both ends and then for the shaft and then you pour molten solder or uh, the Babbitt material into the joint as it's molten it, it uh, forms the entire bearing and then you'll take your casting piece out and you'll actually chisel a oil galley in it so these are bearings that you need to keep lubed up um, and uh, you know, keep them lubricated at all times. This machine is designed to be dripping wet when it's running. So if oil's not running out of it, it is not lubricated like it should be. So um, very fun piece of equipment to run. Um, I like to use it for drilling metal, um, very heavy metal. I have a small Craftsman, uh, you know, uh, bench top drill press, but it's just not all that great for drilling big metal. So this definitely has different stages. You can knock the belt back and uh, go faster or, uh, or slower. So there are many options to this machine. I'm gonna fire it up. I've got a hole to drill in a, a D shackle ring. Um, we're gonna drill a half inch hole here. Um, this is standard Jacobs uh, uh, chuck in this thing, so you can chuck up to a half inch bit in this. You can change the, the chuck out on the quill for different sizes, but uh, I use it for standard stuff so I don't get too crazy with it. So let's bring you guys up close and uh, let's cut this hole with it.
All right, so a fresh drilled hole in my D shackle. It already had a square hole, but I had to make a half inch round hole. So um, a very easy project. I uh, figured I'd bring you guys along for it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Give my video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. And if you're subscribed to the channel, well, I guess we'll see you in the next video.